right, sports journalist Grant Wall's sudden recent tragic death um, shocked all of us, shocked everyone, shocked the sports world. The 49-year-old died Friday after collapsing while covering the World Cup in Qatar. The circumstances around his death still unclear. And now his widow, Dr. Celine Gounder, is remembering her husband and revealing mm -hmm. how he died. Listen to her. I think for him, soccer was more than just a sport. It was this thing that connected people around the world. Um, there's so much about the culture, the politics of sport, of soccer. Um, to him, it was a way of really understanding people and where they were coming from. I, I want people to remember him as this kind, generous person who was really dedicated to social justice. Uh, you know, I think that's another aspect of soccer that was really important to him, that, you know, promoting the women's game, um, you know, the recent statements he had made about LGBT rights. That was, that was Grant. Mm -hmm. That was Grant. Mm -hmm. So he had an autopsy done here in New York by the New York City Medical Examiner's Office, and it showed that he had an aortic aneurysm mm -hmm. um, that ruptured. Which means what? Okay. So uh, aorta, that's the big blood vessel that so comes out of your heart, sort of the trunk of all the blood vessels. And uh, an aneurysm is a ballooning of the uh, blood vessel wall, and mm -hmm. so it's weak. And it's just one of these things that had been likely brewing for years, um, and for whatever reason, it happened at this point in time. Let's bring in CNN Chief Medical Correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta. It is, as Don uh, said, I mean, just her to have the strength to come on and to speak about her beloved yeah. husband. Um, can you help us understand what happened to him now that she has told the world? Uh, yeah, it, it's it's so sad, and, and um, you know, uh, Grant Wall is one of these people who I also would communicate with from time to time via Twitter, and he was just, uh, I got so many texts about him. But what, what Celine, who was a medical uh, contributor to CNN as well, what she was talking about, was the, the major blood vessel uh, called the aorta uh, leaves the heart and it then gives off tributaries to all these other organs in the body. Um, sometimes that blood vessel itself, and I don't know if we have an image of it, um, but it can actually start to weaken. It's made up of all these layers and some of the layers are weakened. So it actually, instead of being sort of, you see that sort of in the middle of the screen, that candy cane looking structure, instead of being normal sort of contour like that, it'll actually start to get uh, a balloon, become the shape of a balloon. And that balloon is weaker. As the walls sort of distend, the walls become weaker as well. And with time, uh, it can rupture, meaning that those walls can actually break apart, or you can get blood that actually dissects uh, through the walls of the aorta. Either way, it can be a catastrophic problem. Um, I will say that it's, it's pretty unusual uh, it typically happens in people who are older, and there's really not some sort of way that he probably knew that he had this. Unless he was, uh, had a family history or was being screened for some reason, it is likely he didn't know this. From what I understand, he was having what sounded, he thought it, they were upper respiratory symptoms. He thought he had bronchitis. And sometimes that ballooning can become so large, it can actually start to push on other things in that part of your body, Doctor. in the chest. So people may develop cough or, or a weakness of voice and things like that, and it's a totally different problem. Before yeah. we run out of time, I just, sorry, I, I just want to, because I want to make sure we get this in. People at home who are watching, uh, and I keep looking at the picture of Celine and Grant playing it, it's just devastating. Is there anything, can you go to the doctor? Can you, is there a checkup? Is there, is, is there any way to know about something like this? There is. I mean, you can be screened for this sort of thing, you know, with, with imaging tests and things like that. But the thing is that it's so rare that, that it's not recommended that people go out and, and get screened. About 20% of the time, there is a family history. So if you have family history of this, then that's something that you should um, uh, potentially get checked out. And you can do that with imaging tests. Um, I will point out, you know, one thing, one of the first stories I covered here at CNN back in 2003 was actually the story of John Ritter dying. He was yes. 54 years old. Yep. Remember John Ritter? Mm -hmm. And he basically had the same problem. He was a few years older than Grant is now, but basically the same problem. They thought it was a heart attack initially. They weren't sure. Ended up being a, an a, a aortic aneurysm that had dissected, similar to what Celine was describing. Again, that's rare. So screening tests are not recommended across the board, but you know, obviously these sad, sad stories like this do happen.
Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Appreciate it. And I know yeah. um, Got it. Celine watches us. She texts. So we're thinking about you, mm -hmm. Celine. We're so, so sorry. Absolutely. Sorry.